Let's start learning. Hello again, everyone. Let's take a look at an interesting idea using addition to subtract. The tool we use is the open number line. Here's our number sentence 63 minus 37 equals blank. First, some vocabulary review. The number we subtract from is the menu end. The number we are subtracting is the subtrahend. And the answer is the difference. When we add, the numbers we add are add ends, and the answer is the sum. When we subtract, we start on the right of the open number line and jump back to the left. When we use addition to subtract, there are a few more steps. First, we change the subtraction sentence to an addition sentence. 63 minus 37 equals blank. And the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change it to an addition number sentence. And we're going to start right here with the menu end. 63, we're going to take it to the end of our addition sentence. It becomes the sum. So something plus something equals 63. We're going to take our subtrahend and make it our first add end. 37 plus something gives us 63. Our difference becomes a missing add end. To solve, what we're going to do is we're going to start here. Start on the left at 37, and we're going to count up to the right to 63. First thing we do, we go to the nearest 10. Our nearest 10 to 37 is going to be 40. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 38, 39, 40. Now that we're at a 10, we're going to jump to the 10 closest to 63, but not greater than that number. And that would be 60. So we're going to jump by 10s. We'll make one jump. That's 110. That takes us to 50. We're going to make a second jump. That's another 10. That's going to take us to 60. All right. So we've moved from 37 to 60, but we still have to go three more. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 61, 62, 63. So we're ending on 63. Let's make sure we count our jumps. We jumped 3 here, 10 here, 10 here, and then we jumped 3 more. Our next step is we're going to add together all the jumps. So we're adding 3 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3 equals blank. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this, but I see some easy addition facts. And the easy addition facts I see, first of all, is I see a 3 plus 3. That gives us a 6. I see a 10 plus 10. That gives us a 20. And then I can just add in my head. 20 plus 6 gives us 26. So when we went from 37 to 63, we moved 26 on the number line. In our addition number sentence, we would start at 37. We add 26, and that takes us to 63. 37 plus 26 equals 63. When we change that to our subtraction number sentence, 63 minus 37 gives us our missing add end, 26. Let's review. Let's review what we've learned today. We can use addition to solve subtraction problems. A good tool for this is an open number line. First, change our subtraction sentence to an addition sentence with a missing add end. Start on the left of an open number line with our known add end. Count up to the nearest 10. Bounce by 10s to the 10 that's just less than the sum. Finish counting the ones that are left. Add all the jumps. The sum of all the jumps becomes the difference to our subtraction problem. Nice work, everyone. 
parents, teachers, and homework helpers, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. A like will really help the channel, so please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care and remember, it never hurts to be nice.